2024 is the year of the wooden dragon. Ready ka na ba for a year of abundance, prosperity, and fortune? Ang wooden dragon ay kilala in Chinese astrology for its generosity, charisma, leadership, at ito din daw ay nagbibigay ng good luck and wealth to those who align with its energy. Kasama ka ba dito? At paano ka makakasali dito? Watch this video para malaman mo. Hello mga ka-RFF! This is Kim sa iyo. Kamusta po kayo? Happy Chinese New Year po sa ating mga Chinese friends and to all of those who celebrate the Lunar New Year. We hope that this year brings you and your loved ones lots of prosperity, wealth, love, and happiness. 2024 is symbolized as the year of the wood dragon. In Chinese astrology, the dragon stands out as a majestic and mystical creature. Ang mga pinanganak sa year of the dragon are seen as ambitious, courageous, and passionate. At ang dragon ay ang nag-iisang mythical creature sa Chinese zodiac, symbolizing exceptional power and prosperity. Past dragon years, such as the year of 2012 and 2000, have been associated with significant changes and developments. And this can signify a year na maaring magkaroon ng opportunity sa mga taong willing magtake ng risks and growth prospects. Pero alam niyo ba? na hindi lang Year of the Dragon ang inaabangan sa 2024. According to a Feng Shui expert, Grandmaster Chinwe, 2024 din ang simula ng Feng Shui Period 9. So this period, lasting from 2024 to 2043, is associated with the fire element and represents light, energy, and activity. Its advent during the Dragon Year amplifies the potential for significant career advancements and financial opportunities. So magkakaroon din daw ng emphasis on technology and innovation this year. And if you look at the biggest tech stocks in the overseas market, sila talaga ang nagdadala ng performance to some of the largest stock markets in the world like in the US. This is due to the rise of artificial intelligence or AI. Simula pa lang and we do expect that more and more companies and industries will adopt the use of AI in their operations and offerings. Real estate can also be positively affected by this transition. Kaya sa mga may balak bumili ng real estate, baka ito na ang sign. So the fire element of period 9 suggests that real estate, particularly in up-and-coming urban areas or technology hubs, may offer lucrative investment opportunities. But all of these predictions can be considered as a guide at most. Mahalaga pa din po na maging matalino and take calculated risk for our personal and financial growth and development. Sabi nga sa prediction, this year we need to balance risk and innovation. While the year favors bold moves, it's important to balance risk-taking and informed decision-making, especially in financial matters. So nasa atin pa rin po kung paano natin ma-develop ang ating skills at mindset para lalo pa tayong maging capable and successful for the year 2024. May it be in relationships, personal advancement, investing, and business. And speaking of business, alam nyo ba na ilan sa mga pinakamalaking businesses sa ating bansa ay sinimulan at pinalago ng ating mga kababayang may Chinese-Filipino descent? Yes, and it is known sa ating kultura na ang mga Chinese-Filipino friends natin ay ang mga usually na nagiging negosyante or businessman dahil sa kanilang mga unique traits and mindsets sa pagpapalago at pagtatabi ng pera na kanilang kinikita. So may mga ginawa rin po kaming videos for the past years about the money mindsets of our Chinese friends. So make sure to watch those videos after this one. Pero alam niyo din ba na some of the biggest companies in our Philippine Stock Exchange ay sinimulan din ng mga businessmen with Chinese descent. So at this point, kilalanin natin 
ang ilang mga Chinese Filipino businessmen and tycoons that made their mark sa Philippine business and economic landscape at kung ano-ano ba ang mga negosyo na kanilang pinasok. So first in our list is Mr. Edgar Sia or also known as Injap Sia. And in 2003, he co-founded a chicken barbecue chain under the brand Manginasal that started in a mall car park in Iloilo. Sa loob ng pinto taon ay lumaki ang Manginasal at nagkaroon ng 338 branches all over the Philippines in 2010. And the Manginasal brand was acquired by the fast food giant Jollibee Foods Corporation. Also in 2009, sinimulan din niya ang Inja Plan Corporation now known as Double Dragon Properties Corporation na nag-develop ng Double Dragon Meridian Park in Pasay City. If you know that, yun po yung building na malapit sa may SM Mall of Asia. Double Dragon Properties is also the developer for City Malls. So ang stock ng Double Dragon Properties Corporation ay traded sa Philippine Stock Exchange with the ticker symbol Double D. So Double D is also the parent company of a DDMP REIT. And next on our list is a business partner of Mr. Sia, Mr. Tony Tancaccio. He is the founder of chairman of Jollibee Foods Corporation. Kung sino ba naman na hindi nakakilala sa paboritong fast food chain nating mga Filipino. With strong brand loyalty and following sa Filipino market, di na rin po nakakapagtaka na naging worldwide brand na rin ang Jollibee na daladala na din ng mga kababayan natin abroad. Naging parte na halos ng Filipino lifestyle ang iba pang food brands under the Jollibee Foods Corporation katulad ng Mang Inasal, Greenwich, Burger King Philippines, Red Ribbon, Chow King, Panda Express Philippines at marami pang iba. We made a video here on our channel of how Jollibee grew over the years and papano din natin maia-apply ang mga growth lessons nila. So make sure to watch that video as well. Jollibee Foods Corporation is also traded in the Philippine Stock Exchange with the ticker JFC and is one of the 30 companies included in the PSEI. Up next is Mr. Lucio Tan, a founder of LT Group. Ang LT Group is a publicly listed conglomerate. Ibig sabihin, traded din ang stock ng LT Group sa PSE. And there are several notable businesses under this holding company in key industries. Kasama sa LT Group ang PAL or Philippine Airlines, Philippine National Bank, Asia Brewery, Tanduay Distillers, Eton Properties Philippines, Fortune Tobacco Corporation, at Macro Asia Corporation. So kasama ang LTG sa top 30 stock sa PSE and is considered a blue chip company. Listed din sa stock exchange ang PAL, PNB at Macro Asia. And next on our list is Mr. John Gokongwe. During his time, his conglomerate company, JG Summit Holdings Inc., had an extensive business and investment holdings across the Filipino economy, including shipping, telecommunications, retail, financial services, petrochemicals, real estate, utilities, aviation, food beverage, and more. So under the JG Summit Group ay ang mga brands and business tulad ng Universal Rubina Corporation, Cebu Pacific, Robinson's Land, Robinson's Bank, which recently merged with BPI, GoTime Bank, and more. So meron din itong investments and business interest in PLDT, Meralco, DHL, at marami pang iba. Ang JG Summit ay kasama din sa PSE with the ticker JGS. Listed din ang URC, Cebu Pacific, at Robinson's Land Corp with the symbol RLC. At di mawawala sa listahan natin ang late Henry C. na nagsimula ng SM. Lahat halos ng mga Filipinos ay madalas na nakakapunta at ginagawang recreational spots ang SM Malls. SM Mega Mall, SM Mall of Asia, at mga local SM Malls sa halos lahat ng urbanized centers sa Pilipinas. Mr. C was the start of the SM Group, which includes prominent businesses in the country like the SM Malls, SM Retail, which handles SM Supermarket and Save More, BDO Unibank, the largest bank in the Philippines, China Bank, SMDC, SM Hotels, To Go Shipping, 
National University and Asia Pacific College, and currently, both the SM Investment Corporation and SM Prime Holdings ang pinakamalaking company sa bansa with a combined market capitalization of 2 trillion pesos. And the third spot is also an SM business, BDO Unibank, with a market cap of more than 700 billion pesos. So traded in the stock exchange ang SM, SMPH, BDO at China Bank. Talagang ang di matatawaran ang business skills ng mga business magnets and tycoons na ating mga nabanggit. Kayo ba mga ka-RFF? May mga kilala ba kayong Chinese-Filipino na naging successful businessman? Share nyo naman sa comment section down below. ba na maaari din kayo makasali at mapalago din ang inyong hard-earned money kasabay nila? This is possible through stock market investing. And if you remember earlier, I was mentioning the companies that are traded in the Philippine Stock Exchange. Kapag traded sa isang stock exchange ang shares ng isang kumpanya, ay maaring bumili ang mga investors ng shares ng mga nasabing companies. And in effect, kayo ay magiging shareholder or part owner ng mga negosyong ito. Gusto mo bang magkaroon ng negosyo o makapagmay-ari ng mga biggest brands and companies in the Philippines like Jollibee, BDO, BPI, Pure Gold, Ayala Land Shakies at marami pang iba? Gusto mo bang malaman at magkaroon ng access sa investment na may unmatched potential pagdating sa investment performance in the long term? If your answer is yes, then stock market investing is for you. Meron kaming video on how you can become a business part owner through stock market investing and we have linked that in the description box below. Pero maaring nakakalula or nakaka-intimidate para sa marami ang pagsali directly sa stock market. Maraming symbols, maraming tickers, charts, lot sizes, at marami pang aaralin bago ka maging maalam sa pagtitrade ng stocks. Isa pang iisipin mo din is kung anong stock ba ang magandang bilhin o ang timing kailan mo ito bibilhin. Paano kung gusto mo lang naman makasali sa earning potentials ng mga kumpanya na ito at meron ka lamang maliit na kapital? With that, you can start investing in managed funds katulad ng mutual funds at UITFs. So ang managed funds po ay isang uri ng investments kung saan ang pera ng maraming investor ay pinupul at pinagsasama-sama sa isang malaking fund. At may mga expert fund managers na nag invest ng pera nyo para sa inyo. Maari nila itong i-invest sa pinakamalaking company sa bansa at mapalago pa ang inyong pera. At maari kang makisali sa mutual funds for as low as 1,000 pesos only. So perfect po ang mutual funds for beginners dahil sa affordable ang pagsali. 1,000 pesos lang ang kailangan mo, makakapag-invest ka na. Professionally managed din ang mga ito dahil may mga fund managers na silang bahala kung sa ang kumpanya ang sa tingin nila ay kikita pa in the future. So mutual funds also gives you instant diversification. Ibig sabihin po, ang investments mo ay maikakalat at maiinvest sa hindi lang iisang kumpanya, kundi sa maraming stocks across different industries katulad ng holding companies, financials, real estate, consumer services, mining and oil at marami pang iba. At madali na lang din makapag-invest sa mutual funds. You can do it now digitally with the Ramp for Online. Wala ka nang sasagot ang paper forms. All you need to do is to sign up and invest all fully digital. With Ramp for Online, makakapag-invest ka na sa mutual funds ng reputable asset manager sa bansa under one platform. So maari kang makapamili kung anong klasing mutual funds ang gusto mong salihan. Gusto mo ba doon sa fund na mag invest sa pinakamalaking company sa bansa, katulad ng SM, BPI, 
Ayala or BDO or gusto mo dun sa fund na nag invest naman sa mga companies na may growth opportunities or gusto mo naman sa stocks of the companies beyond Philippines. So may mga mutual funds din po tayo na nag invest sa biggest companies in the world like Apple, Amazon, Facebook at Google. Lahat po ng mga yan meron sa Ramp for Online. And you can start investing nga with 1,000 pesos only. All you need to do is to sign up using the link in the description box and in the comments. So fill out the necessary information and once verified ka na, you can start investing. Malaking tulong rin na makipag-usap sa financial advisor para kayo ay matulungan at ma-assess ang inyong current financial situation at malaman ang mga investment options na babagay sa inyong goals, investing personality, and time horizon. We here at Ram for Financials are committed to help you in achieving your financial goals sa pamamagitan ng mga educational videos and materials. And also, the best options for you to get started. With Ramfer, we help you take your simple steps to wealth creation towards the fulfillment of your life's goals and dreams. And should you have questions or any reactions regarding this video, kindly post it in the comments section below. So we want to hear from you mga ka-RFF, no? So feel free also to like and share this video to your family and friends. And the more people who know, the more that we could help others as well. And if di ka pa nakapag-subscribe sa ating channel, please do so para updated kayo sa aming latest videos na ilalabas namin. Again, this is Kim sa iyo and thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Oh.